Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of complex exponential equations, we will be solving cos 2x plus i sin 2x over cos 3x minus i sin 3x whole power x equal to x. While solving this problem, we will see Euler's identity, we will see exponent and exponent properties, and then we will conclude our result using Lombardo function. So let's get started. I will consider Euler's identity first. So let me write e raised to the power i theta. We know that it is cos theta plus i sin theta. Similarly, we can write e raised to the power minus i theta can be written as cos theta minus i sin theta. So as per our problem, numerator is cos 2x, let me write cos 2x plus i sin 2x, we can write this as e raised to the power i theta. In place of theta, it is 2x. So e raised to the power i 2x. Similarly, our denominator cos 3x minus i sin 3x can be written as e raised to the power minus i 3x. This is from complex number. We can write any time, any complex number in Cartesian plane, we can write in exponential form. So our given equation will convert now e raised to the power i 2x over e raised to the power minus i 3x whole power x equal to x. Now exponent property will come into the picture that is a raised to the power x over a raised to the power y can be written as a raised to the power x minus y. I can write e raised to the power i 2x plus i 3 whole power x equal to x. So it will become e raised to the power i 5x whole power x equal to x. Okay. By the property of exponent or exponentiation, we can write a power b whole power c can be written as a power b times c. So I will write i 5x times x equal to x. So equation will convert e raised to the power i 5x square equal to x. i 5x square equal to x. Now we will be taking log both sides, natural log both sides. So I will write ln both sides. ln e raised to the power i 5x square equal to ln x. Now property of ln a power b equal to b ln a. So i times 5x square that will come down into ln e equal to ln x. Now we know that ln e is always 1. So equation converted into ln x equal to, let me write right hand side towards left, equal to i times 5x square. Now see, x can be written now as e raised to the power ln x. We can write x equal to e raised to the power ln x. In that place, I will write 5 e raised to the power ln x whole square. So let me write 2 here. Okay. Equal to ln x. Now I will take e raised to the power 2 ln x towards left. So how it is possible? By dividing e raised to the power 2 ln x. If I will divide, equation will become ln x times 
e raised to the power minus 2 ln x equal to 5 i. Okay. Now, if you will observe, this is minus 2 ln x and here it is only ln x. As per our Lambert W form, we can, this is our standard Lambert W function form. Whatever is written here, it should be in the product also. Same thing. So, minus 2 is required. What I will do? I will multiply both sides by minus 2. Now, if you will notice, it is exactly minus 2 ln x. So, x is minus 2 ln x in this case. Again, it is same minus 2 ln x. You can check and right hand side is minus 10 i. Let me write directly minus 2 ln x equal to lambda w function 5 i times negative 2 to negative 10 i. Okay. So, ln x will become Lambert W function minus 10 i over negative 2. Now ln, so we can write in exponential form, it will become e raised to the power w minus 10 i over negative. It is in power exponent only. Okay, if I will solve, then this value will give us calculation. That value will come out 0 0.38403 plus 0 0.21400i. This is how we will calculate x. One, from one branch, we are getting this complex value. There are number of branches. We, we can get number of complex solutions. Now, this is, you can see it is in Cartesian form, A plus IB form. Now, there are, this is Cartesian. This is Euler's form. This is Polar's form. Different, different forms are there. How we can find out? See, A plus IB is given under the root A square plus B square is 0 0.43963. And this is theta equal to 10 inverse 0 0.214 over 0 0.384. So from there we can get this form. And polar form is r e raised to the power i theta. That theta is same. You can check this value and this value is same. This is your modulus r. In argon plane, how we can represent that point? It is 0 0.38403 on the real axis and 0 0.214 on the imaginary. This coordinate, if we want to write, we can write 0 0.38 at value, comma 0 0.21. Real comma imaginary. This is how we can solve this question. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.